Okay, so I'm going to start Rhino inside. So in the add-ins tab, we have Rhino on Rhino 7. So that tab open, there's two options to import um, mesh from Rhino to Revit. So the first option is this import. So that imports the Rhino file straight away and it will import it to whatever category you select here. So if I select topography and then I go to import, I'll just click on the file. Hide the levels. So this is the geometry we're getting. So if I open up Rhino, and it actually opens up an instance of Rhino inside of Revit. So I can look at that same file. And this is that same file. So um, there's some quite intricate uh, meshing going on here. And Revit would normally have a hard time dealing with this. So that first way of importing you can see all the mesh lines so it's not ideal but there is another way to import the geometry as a topo so if I go to grasshopper inside of Revit so this is an instance of grasshopper I'm just going to start a new script. So in the Revit tab, we've got direct shape. And what I think that first way of importing is doing is taking a add direct shape. But if we um, go to site and then say add topography mesh, this will give us a better result. And then I go back to my geometry tab and select the mesh. And I'll connect that up. So just as a comparison, I'll move the direct import. And then I will right click, set on mesh go to my Rhino file and select that as the mesh. So that's baked it straight away and we can see it's come in there. I'll turn off the preview and we can see the two results. So that straight mesh import has had a better result than the actual out-of-the-box import. And we can even change the material on this, whereas that direct import, we can't do that. And what I'll do here is I'll save each of these and check the file size to see which actually performs better. And I can see here that the mesh and the topo are pretty much the same size, so there's no benefit performance wise but if we were to actually look at the difference between the two the direct import isn't going to look as good in your drawings and your 3ds might get quite confusing or as the mesh import is cleaner looks better in terms of the accuracy In terms of the accuracy, they're very similar and still very accurate compared to what is in the Rhino file itself. So we're getting better lines in the mesh import. We're getting the actual cut 
section cut with a hatch which looks good whereas the direct import isn't going to be as good thank you for watching and please do subscribe